Good day and welcome to the spreadsheet tutorial. In this video I will explain to you the basics of how to use spreadsheets to do the arithmetic for you. This tutorial was recorded using the free software LibreOffice, but the same principles apply to other spreadsheet software as well. On the left hand side of the table we have listed the speeds of some objects and humans around us and as you will find out after completing this tutorial, the speeds of different objects and things can vary on many orders of magnitude. On the right hand side of the table we have listed the different speeds in different units and we will also compare them to the speed of light, column G, and to the speed of sound in air, column H. And I will explain to you how these conversions can be done easily using spreadsheets. One thing you notice straight away in the column speed in meters per second is the scientific notation, for example, for the speed of light, 3.00e plus 8, which is spreadsheet language for 3.00 times 10 to the power of 8. This speed is given as um, 3.00, and this means it has three significant figures. And as a first step in the process of filling out this table, I will convert all values written in the table into scientific notation with three significant figures. And that is done in the following way. I go to the cell which content I want to format. I do a right click, I say format cells. And then I say I want scientific notation with, as it's shown here, with three significant figures. And then I click OK. And then what I can do is I can just go to the other cells and do exactly the same. Now what I can also do is I can highlight the cells I want to format and say format cells and that will set it to scientific notation with three significant figures for all the highlighted cells. I do the same for the column speed in kilometers per hour. I highlight certain cells I do a right click, I say format cells, scientific, three significant figures, and then I click OK. I do the same for the cells that are already filled out. And now I can do the same for the column speed in centimeters per year. I just highlight all the cells, click format cells, choose scientific and click OK. And then I can do the same for the last two columns. The only things missing are now the front cells.